tip number 25, try to use as big gap clearance between signals as possible. Why is this important? The gap between the tracks. We were speaking about this, for example, because of crosstalk. Yeah. The question is, uh, what does it mean, you know, as big as possible? How big clearance is big enough to feel kind of safe? Yeah. You know, I'm going to explain in this tip. In some design guides, they will tell you, tell you the exact numbers. Yeah? They will tell you something like keep the gap of 0.5 millimeter. Yeah? So you route a track, then you keep the gap 0.5 and you route another track. The thing is, uh, I'm not sure if this is the best way to specify the safe distance between the tracks. Usually, if you have a look inside this kind of document, usually they specify the stack up somewhere on the other pages. And uh, if you would like to use this uh, number, the 0.5 millimeter gap, you need to follow the stack up. You need to use the same stack up what they use. Yeah. So be careful about these uh, exact numbers. In uh, some design guides, they will tell you something else. They will tell you something like, Keep the gap between the tracks uh, three times track width. So what they are saying is uh, when you are routing 0.1 millimeter track, you should use 0.3 millimeter gap to route the other tracks. Okay? What I like to use is I like to calculate the distance based on the distance from your from from the track which you are routing to the reference plane of this track. So what I like to use is this distance here. So let's say this is the track which we are routing and this is the reference plane. What I like to use is this distance and uh, this table, which is here. I created this table based on uh, some design guides and I use it a lot. Uh, sometimes I have to break these numbers, but it is still always useful to see the numbers what you probably would like to follow. Yeah? These are the numbers which, uh, if you use in your PCB, you can feel quite safe about uh, not having uh, um, high crosstalk between the tracks. Yeah? So what is inside this table? How does it work? Do you know? The H is the distance between the track and the reference plane. And it says that, for example, if you are routing clock signal on top or bottom layer, then the distance between the clock and the other signals should be 7H. And if you calculate it based on the stack up, like this one, where the H is 4 mils or 0.1 millimeter, then the distance between the clock and the other tracks should be like 28 mils. Yeah, the gap between the clock and the other tracks should be 28 mils for this stack up. Be careful if you use different stack up where the distance is a little bit smaller, like this. Yeah. So the distance between the track and the reference plane here is, 0 point, uh, is 3 mils, 0 0.076 millimeter. The space between the tracks which you need to keep can be a little bit lower. It's, can you see, 21 mils. And also be careful, yeah? there is difference between routing on the top and bottom layer and there is difference when you are routing inside the PCB. Inside the PCB, you normally can go a little bit closer with the tracks. So if uh, we have a look, you can uh, route the clock inside the PCB in the distance of 20 mils instead of 28 mils here. Yeah. Uh, you can see here are different uh, kind of signals. Clock is really like, you know, sensitive or it's kind of dangerous signal for the crosstalk. So they recommend in all the design guides which I read, they recommend uh, keep the distance a little bit bigger for the standard uh, 
signals you may you may route them a little bit closer to each other if uh, you are not sure you can also have a look on the on this i'll show you on uh, uh where is it this oh no i'm lost here crystal calculator you may uh, have a look on this crystal coefficient as you can see in this table i kept or i calculated the crystal coefficient so if you are doing layout and you are not sure for what kind of numbers for what kind of space you should be looking between the tracks what you can also use is uh, try to route them at least uh, with the crosstalk coefficient at least minus 30 uh, decibels or lower so minus 31 minus 32 minus 48 that's better you can see from this table yeah around minus 30 decibel it is a kind of safe number don't route the tracks uh, as close is uh, like minus 2.2 decibel that's really bad number this would be very close to each other yeah you are looking for number like minus 30 and lower or you can use this table which is here i'm pretty sure you know how to use this table and i really hope it will give you some idea of what kind of space you should keep or you should try to keep between the tracks on your pcb don't forget tip number 25 try to use as big gap clearance between signals as possible why big gap clearance between tracks lower influence between them yeah, between the tracks for example it lowers the crosstalk 